pictures a mechanized monster scouring the depths of shipping channels surrounding New Jersey ports. This is the Backhoe Dredge New York, the largest excavator of its kind in the United States. The New York is a, it's a, it's a Libra 996 excavator, it's a 3,000 horsepower machine that swings a 24 cubic yard bucket. Machine uh, off the shelf, I think you could buy one of these for the excavator itself for about $8 million. Um, put it all together, it might be about $15 million, including the barge. So what's it like having 3,000 horsepower at your fingertips? It's, you know, one, one of the, it's an adventure, it's uh, enjoyable, you know, if, if you like driving heavy equipment and stuff like that, it's, it's fun. This is a big toy, man, you have trying to have this in your backyard. <laughs> you have a lot of neighbors pissed off. The operation of this channel deepening project is between $100,000 and $150,000 per day. So why is the Port Authority taking on that kind of expense? Port Jersey deepening is part of a broader harbor deepening project which has been underway for approximately eight years now. It's basically deepening all of the major shipping channels within the harbor to accommodate the next generation of container ship use. Depending on where we are in the harbor, there's a variety of different types of material that we dredge, and each of them has different characteristics. One of the primary goals that we have on this project is to try to use all the different types of material that we have in as many different beneficial uses as we can. Glacial till, remnants of the last ice age, is being removed from the Port Jersey Channel. The material will be used to help recreate a shallow water habitat in Bayonne that had been destroyed over the years. Here, the material is being released from the scow in hope of someday improving conditions for animals such as worms and clams that live in the bottom environment. In the broader project, we still have about six years worth of deepening to do and other contracts in other areas. On this particular contract in Port Jersey, it will require probably at least another year to complete fully. 